subject mathematics topic is complex numbers and quadratic equations so what is first we will study what is meant by complex numbers this topic will cover in three parts first part will be complex numbers second part will be quadratic equation and in third part will solve as much as possible the numericals based on about there are in universe there are two types of numbers basic basic types first is the real real numbers and second one is the imaginary numbers imaginary numbers first one is the real number and another one is the imaginary number real number means they are exist in the nature real numbers are the numbers which are exist in the nature and imaginary numbers they doesn't exist in the nature they does not exist in the nature they are imagined number we have imagined that like this like this like this this will happen this will happen this will happen like this so this is imagination and the number which we imagine that are called imaginary numbers correct this is the basic definition and these imaginary numbers are called as the complex numbers these imaginary numbers are called as the complex numbers now complex numbers complex number this is the complex number root minus 1 square root of minus 1 and this is denoted by symbol i we can say it as iota iota if we do square of this we can make square of this i square i square is equal to minus 1. This is the value of complex number. I square is equal to minus one. I is a solution of equation x square plus one. I is solution of equation x square plus one. And now after this, after this, suppose a number. We have learned what is mean by complex number. Is there is iota. I square is equal to minus one. Value of i is equal to square root of minus one. I square is equal to minus one. Then a number of the form a plus i b, where a and b are real numbers. The numbers of the form, the numbers of the form a plus i b, in which a and b are real numbers. Then This type of number is called complex number. Now, for example, for example, this complex number Z is equal to a i b. A is called the real part, and b is called imaginary part because it is associated with i iota. It is associated with iota. So B is called imaginary part, and we write this as suppose we will take an example. If Z is equal to two plus i iota dot phi u, iota phi u, or iota phi u or phi u iota, can that anyway? Then R E Z is equal to two. R E Z is equal to two. Mat means real part of this number will be two. And imaginary part, I am Z. I am Z means imaginary part of this equation will be phi. So this part will be real part, and this part will be imaginary part, and collectively we'll call it as imaginary complex number. Now, if now properties of complex number, we'll see. Two complex numbers Z1 is equal to a plus ib and Z2 is equal to c plus id are equal. If these numbers are equal, Z1 Z1 equal to Z2, then 
real part part must be equal to real part of other number imaginary part always equal to imaginary number so likewise in linear equation linear equation what we will do lhs we are showing lhs equal to rhs r h s and then we solve the equations so same concept will be there z1 equal to z2 if if and only if real part equal to real part that is a equal to c and imaginary part will be equal to imaginary part then only these two numbers are equal correct now next problem now we'll take some example so here see here 4x plus iota 3x into bracket 3x minus y is equal to 3 plus iota minus 6 where x and y are real numbers then find the values of x and y so simple example hai I mean, x and we have to find the values of x and y so this this part this is lhs l h s and this is r h s both are equal this is equality side this is called equality side and both parts are equal both parts are equal so come equating the real and imaginary parts so 4x equal to 3 this is the real part of the equation and iota 3x minus y equal to iota minus 6 so we'll cancel we'll cancel the iota correct now we have two equations this is equation number one and this is equation number two we have we know we know if we have two unknown we need two equations to solve them if we have one unknown we need one equation to solve the unknown here two unknowns are there x and y two equations are there solve this called quadratic equation or solve this algebraic equation we can say algebraic equations linear algebraic equation solve this we'll get the values of x and y and that is our game correct now next algebra of complex number addition of two complex number let z1 is the first real number z2 is the second real number or when we add z1 plus z2 so what we'll do we'll add real part with real part and imaginary part with imaginary part correct now as we know different laws different laws of mathematics that is closure law commutative law Associative law, existence existence of additive identity, existence of additive inverse, all these law. We see whether this follows or not. So in addition of two complex number, what we'll do? This is complex number one, complex number two. We'll add real part as well as we'll add imaginary part. So this addition of 
कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर फॉलोज क्लोजर रूट जेड वन प्लस जेड टू कैन राइट जेड टू प्लस जेड वन द कम्युटेटिव लॉ जेड वन प्लस जेड टू इज इक्वल टू जेड टू प्लस जेड वन दिस कम्युटेटिव लॉ सॉरी द क्लोजर लॉ जेड वन प्लस जेड टू इट्स क्लोजिंग वेर क्लोजिंग मिस्टेक then commutative law commutative law z1 plus z2 is equal to z2 plus z1 will change the position or change the places of numbers first number will make this as a second num second place will put this sign first place associative law associative law means will do the association z1 plus z2 is association in bracket plus z3 which is equal to z1 plus z2 plus z3 association of z2 plus z3 So it will z1 plus z2 plus z3. So this is called as the associative property in mathematics. Now existence of additive identity. Additive identity means if we add something in any number, the answer will become same number. So that quantity is called additive identity. So here zero. If we add zero in anything. Answer will be same. So zero is the additive identity in mathematics. The existence of additive inverse. Additive inverse. This is another property in mathematics also. In here also, additive inverse means it is the opposite value of that value. Suppose z is the one of the number, and its additive inverse will be minus z. so when we add additive inverse if when we add additive inverse in any number then answer becomes zero then only we can say the added number will be the additive inverse of that previous number now difference of two complex number that we'll see in next part thank you for watching the video if you like it please do share it and subscribe channel for more such fruitful videos thank you